Welcoming to you live from, actually from Arizona <laughs> right now. We just arrived here. Hello, everybody, and uh, happy Friday. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Well, hello, happy campers. Uh, no, wrong show. <laughs> Let me, uh, yeah, Google, uh, YouTube wants me to insert ads and I don't want to. Not on today's live stream. Hello, everybody, and welcome to all of you. Uh, today, we begin the quest, or today, actually, tomorrow, we begin the quest for Pelican West. Yeah, that even rhymes, and I just came up with it. So um, we are uh, in the high desert of Arizona. But first of all, I think I saw my mom here earlier. So um, where would she be? I, I, I missed her now. But anyway, everybody say hello to my mom. She was asking if I was in the Rio Grande. Uh, here we go. Is my son in the Rio Grande? And that, that, that was actually three days ago the thumbnail for this video and what you see on my right is the united states what you see on my left is uh, mexico yep that furnace is working really good today uh, pete diaz uh, hello friends hope you're having a great start to the weekend um, we are actually and um, who else is here we have uh, oh it's uh we have uh, Lewis Clark. We have Juan Juan Hui Nyong 77. Helena Montana to Glacier National Park. That's a nice route. And the RV DJ is the bar officially open, Sonia. Because uh, today I have a special beer from beer from um, from Texas. Actually, it's called El Chingong from Four Four Corners Brewery, and uh, pretty good. Oops, we we were hitting some bumpy roads, so this uh. I must be careful. Some of those roads on New Mexico and, and here in Arizona in the high desert, we hit a frost heave that I'm surprised everything survived in here. Hello, Sandra Winters. How everyone? We're going to be celebrating with Jeffrey Reese. My boyfriend got a new job. He starts on Monday. He's in, in Carson City, Nevada. I love Sandra Winters. Hey, congratulations, Jeffrey, on the new job. And uh, I'm just scrolling here. So... Robert, better watch out for CPB in that room. What's CPB? Border Patrol, you mean? CPB, probably, right? Anyway, uh, Robin Minkler, Robert, you are late. You are late for an important date. Well, you know what happens? We are in mountain time, and, uh, and I had a couple of things to do along the way. Uh, one of them being a place that I've been meaning to visit for many, many years, and that is... The very large array, which is, you know, where they're looking for E.T. right there in the in the middle of the New Mexico. There's a, by the way, this is the view outside our window. This uh, campground is RVP on a Friday. That's very odd. That's very odd. <laughs> hey, Red Jaguar, how are you, Herbie? Let's get this show on the road. Kevin Bentley barely missed Robert at Big Bend last week. We left Saturday. It was indeed epic. Uh, Big Bend was indeed epic. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, it's not top five or maybe even it could be on, in the top 10 of the uh, best in national parks for sure. <clears throat> 61 carry on route 66 ready here also. Uh, waving hand. Hey, Christopher Olson, where it is very late. I'm glad you waited for this show. Greetings from the Outback. What's your 1020? My 1020? Um... Uh, What's 1020? My location? I suppose. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. We are in, uh, I'm going to say it, we're in Holbrook, Arizona. And uh, as I said, today we begin the, the quest for Pelican West. And um, uh, Red Jaguar again. And uh, hello to my Pelican Head family and to my friends, Raveling Rubber. Hello there. And Bob and Verna from. Wickenburg, Arizona. Hello, Jeffrey D. Bartolo and Lily Strain Norak. El Mandalorian. It is the way, brother. And uh, 
Yeah, happy Friday to all of you. Ingrid, love the Miami video. Great work. Thank you so much. You know, you don't have to do at least one video about my, my hometown. And uh, that's the one. And there's actually three more videos coming up. Well, two more videos coming up about the Miami. And then there's like a compilation one. So, um, um, so I see I'm so behind everybody saying hello to my mom. Who is here? I, I called her to remind her that, that and told her that the video was going to be a little bit late. I'm going to reset the chat here and maybe I'll get to some of the earlier comments. Here we have Mr. CLT. Hello, Robert and all you Pelican heads out there. Hello, man. How are you? And Hakim Ulajuan. Good evening, Robert and Robert. You should get Pelican West in California. I love California, but the taxes in California might be a little too much. Um, so we'll see. Howdy from Rancho del, del Carl, uh, very close to the original. Pelican, the young day, VLA, it's where Ellie Arroway worked in contact. Great scene of her sitting on the hood of her car at the edge of the canyon. Yeah, and there, I, I didn't see a canyon there at the v, VLA. Um, to be honest, the VLA seemed uh, like not in use at the moment. It was, um, I mean, I'm sure they have people there, but it looked like a skeleton crew kind of. And uh, th there was no one at the gift shop. I mean, we, we did buy our tickets online, but uh, let me tell you something. We could have just wandered in and nobody would have noticed that we didn't pay. But we did. We did. <clears throat> Ranch and Sabrina, did you stay at Maverick Ranch in Lajitas? In, we saw you in Terlingua as you were leaving that campground. Hated to miss seeing you and Ailey. We stayed at um, Paisano Village. Uh, just because, you know, we, we, we got a couple of nights uh, at the... I was actually able to get some camp, campgrounds at the uh, at the National Park using Camp Nab, by the way, which uh, it's a great way to find, uh, you know, hard to get campsites. And uh, But the thing is, both campgrounds in the National Park are generator free. So after our second night, we were like, let me just get um, one night with full hookups in between campgrounds. And we spent one night there. Um, we, we didn't go to Lajitas. I mean, we, we drove by Lajitas, but we didn't stay at the campground there. We just had a dinner at uh, the Starlight Theater in Terlingua, which was pretty good. And uh, hey, we're getting close. Excited to go land looking with you tomorrow and tour you around the area. Being on Zillow today for you. Cheers. Oh, thank you, brother. I really appreciate it, and uh, of course, the, 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 uh, there are certain several areas that I want to check out. But your area is definitely one of those. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really hoping to to find a suitable pelicamp west around here. And my mom is, uh, says hello. I hope you have a wonderful weekend in good health. Thank you, mom. And Christopher says lots of buffering tonight. Yeah, I see YouTube is complaining and I don't know what's going on. Um, maybe it's Starlink, I mean, have no trees. I mean, Starlink should be working well, but I'm sorry if it is buffering for you guys. Jay from Massachusetts, soup. thank you for that super chat. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Bad internet tonight. Really? Is it that bad? Uh, Ili is monitoring and uh, no, Ili is not monitoring. So it, this thing wants, wants me to open a widget. It's not receiving enough video. Your stream is currently at um, oh my goodness. bit rate. It's lower than the recommended bit rate. We recommend you use a stream, a bit rate of 6,800 kilobits for 6.8. Six. Well, I'm, I'm Ili's phone, I'm in HD. So I don't know. <laughs> How do I close the widget now? Uh, here, system settings. I just want to see how many people are watching now. Analytics. Here we go. Are you uh, connected to Pelican? Three, I'm con yeah, I'm connected to to yeah, Starlink. Should be good. Should be decent. At least we're not dropping out and uh, you know completely. So let me go back here a little bit on the and. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, Theo from da Dana in New Mexico. We, just, we were just in New Mexico. 
Um, and of course, we went to the VLA. Are you looking for land near Williams, Arizona? That too. You know, there are three areas in Arizona where I'm looking for land, and there may be a more than one Pelican West. If I find two great pieces, I you know, man can dream, right? By the way, Bob Pool, thank you for that super chat. Enjoy your stay here in Arizona, Bob and Verna. All right, cheers. Uh, Mercy de Lao. Hi, Robert. Check out Tom and Susie's Diner in Holbrook. We heard it was good from a couple that moved from Florida to Florida from Alaska. But don't forget the Petrified Forest. Safe travels. Yeah, I'm going to try to combine looking for property and per Petrified Forest definitely is one of those um, not, you know, one of those places that I haven't been to yet. And that's kind of the purpose of this trip I'm on right now. I'm kind of hitting all those places that I skipped or driven through in previous... Not all of them, of course, that would be impossible. But many of those places that I've either skipped or just driven through in previous years, just like um, um, where we just came from, the Valley of Fires in New Mexico, which, uh, I mean, you don't need to spend the whole week there. Just uh, one one day might be enough do the, the the trail and it's a very unique place you know with a, it's a lava field uh, very good looks good my way here in michigan okay there you go if it looks good in michigan should be good It's good now. You just got a little sketchy for like two minutes. You know, you know it, it's probably Elon's fault, right? But by the way, here you go. That's the the view outside our window. Uh, it it was we we even had a, a little bit of flurries early today on the way here. I don't know. It's I don't know the exact terminology that they looked like like micro hail. You know, like very tiny pieces of ice. That, that that just melted as soon as they hit the ground. Gigs on tour. Hello from the gigs. Hello, gigs in, in Oakland Park, Florida. Uh, and uh, here we go. Let me uh, refresh this because we have another super chat. Thank you, Suzanne Smith. Uh, it is my birthday tomorrow. Can I get a birthday song? Uh, thanks. Happy birthday, dear Suzanne. Happy birthday to you. And I forgot to bring my guitar. But other than that, um, happy birthday to you. Trailer traveling, celebrating 27 months as a chief pelican head. And when she shines, she really shows you all she can. Oh, Rio, Rio, dance across the Rio Grande. I was singing that song as I was uh, swimming in the Rio Grande. Hope you enjoy your dip in the river. Yeah, it was It was actually very neat, very unique. Uh, just because, you know, you're straddling the, the border as, as you swim in the water. The water wasn't, I mean, I took a shower afterwards because it is probably just sediment and algae or whatever, but it, it wasn't like, clear so yeah <clears throat> hey Reming Passion long walk you had there with Ileana in the last Miami video Robert yes from Miami to Miami Beach and the furnace just stopped yeah it is toasty in here now actually it's super it's 76 in here outside it's supposed to be 56 but it I bet you it is colder it felt colder and it's supposed to freeze tonight. I don't know how hard of a freeze it is going to be, but it is supposed to freeze tonight. Uh, 31. 31 is supposed to be tonight. Yeah, it's probably going to be just a quick uh, overnight freeze, but just in case I filled up my fresh water and I released the, the pressure from the, the hose. So it's, uh, it's not going to... Holy M... Los Cubanazos de los Cubanazos, Robertico, el chulísimo con una IPA. No, de los míos. What up? What up, Holly M? Cheers. It's called. I mean, in Cuban Spanish, that's almost like a, like a profane word, but I think in Mexican Spanish is normal, so. So John Mason Smith asking, what's the IPA today? That's it. I picked it up 
actually at the, the convenience store at, at Big Bend National Park at the this partic particular the, the one at the at the Jesus Basin um, um, Visitor Center was really good. They had everything. They had all kinds of wine and beer and other things too, you know, like 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 energy bars and camping food and all that, but you know, priorities. Uh, gigs on tour. Hey, Robert, we have some lobster in the freezer ready for when you get back. Oh, lobster. Love lobster. Um, I'll let you know. It's going to be a couple of months. <laughs> At least a month. Actually, we're exactly one month away from the solar eclipse. And after the solar eclipse, we're going to be two more days in San Antonio. And then we're kind of hightailing it back. The Adventure Channel. Robert, I thought you were saying you were going to Moab, Utah. Is that right? Yeah, we're going to Moab. We're still like two weeks away from Moab. But we're going to Moab. Um, it's going to be a, a an interesting production, Moab. Did the dip in the river give you a surprise in the inner... Th mm. Nope, actually. Bob Leach, New Mexico State Parks are increasing rates from 11 to 40 per night for camping sites beginning June 2024. This is... Uh, the, what? The shrinkflation inclusion? I don't know. I don't know, uh, Bob. I know everything has been going up. Actually, this KOA where we're staying at was actually quite reasonable considering, you know, that everything is going up. And um, and Big Bang National Park was actually very reasonable. I think it was like 20 bucks a night. Granted, we were dry camping, but still. A ma Empty Mikey. Hey, Mikey. Mikey Barbie. Any plans to visit the Wickenburg Quartzsite area? I would love to. Um, I think we're going to stick to northern Arizona just for this part of the trip, just because I want to go into uh, Nevada and uh, into Utah afterwards. And uh, and I think the season in, the, in Quartzsite is, is kind of over at this point. Um, but uh, cheap RV land in and out around Holbrook, Arizona. Yeah, we're, uh, uh, and uh, uh, I caught my train of thought when I was uh, speaking to Antrit uh, a few minutes ago. This is one of the areas. I'm talking Sholo, uh, somewhere between Sholo, Snowflake, and Sholo and, and Concho. Kind of that triangle. There's a lot of land there that I would love to, if, if I could find something with a view or... You know, it has to be priced right. It has to be a few acres. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna go for just one acre anymore. I wanna have like three to five acres just to have a little more elbow room, a little more privacy. Um, and there are two more areas, Williams, more like around the the Grand Canyon Junction area. That's one of those. And the other area is uh, Golden Valley, just west of Kingman. There's some some land there that, you know, I I want to to see to and uh ivan k i thought valley of fire was in nevada southwest of mesquite uh was there eight years ago valley of fire in nevada is beautiful with this but this is valley of fires i guess there were several fires here not just one but plural and um and this one is in new mexico Nancy Reynolds is called Slit, Robert. Good evening to you, Ily and Mom. Thank you. I, I, you know, this this cold weather precipitation is uh, is not my area of expertise. I, I th so I thought Slit was supposed to be like water together with with ice, or is that like ice rain? I don't know. Greetings, uh, Sandra winners. Uh, don't forget to set your clock forward Sunday. We usually set our clock forward on Sun on Saturday. Love, Sandra. Are we changing the time already? It seems like it was yesterday that we fell back and now we're springing forward. Um, so what are the good Arizona IPAs? Having Funky Buddha here in Fort Lauderdale. I'm, I'm going to go into town tomorrow and I'm, I'm going to try to find a good Arizona IPA. I know I've had several in the past. There was one from Tucson. Was it Tucson, Robert? What's the RV park? that has like a back door where you can walk into a brewery. I want to say that's Tucson, but it may have been somewhere else in Arizona.
<clears throat> Someone was asking, when are you coming to Iowa? I don't know yet, Christian McNeil, but uh, Iowa is, uh, is a great state and uh, some of the nicest people I've ever met. So Iowa, actually, I'm going back to Iowa this summer because the... It used to be called the Winnebago Grand the National Rally. Now they call it Kent Winnebago, so I'm going to be there. So, Kent Fry, what's your favorite thing about Big Bend so far? Well, so many great hikes. You know, the Santa Elena Canyon, for sure. We did a hike uh, called uh, the, um, the Balanced Rock. That was very cool. And none of them are very long. I mean, you, they have some really long hikes in Big Bend, but... But my favorite thing may have been going uh, to Boquillas del Carmen, which, by the way, I have the T-shirt to prove it. And, you know, you take a short dirt road and then you get you go to the border crossing, you know, they tell you what you can and cannot do. And then you go to the Rio Grande and there's a guy with a rowboat, but he doesn't even need to row. He just walks the boat across the river because it's like knee knee deep right and um and you get to go into mexico and you have a choice to to go in the get, hop on a burro or a horse or or take an suv or walk i prefer to walk because this is the thing if you choose to to get a burro or, or a horse then you get a, a tour guide with you the whole time and uh, I just wanted to, I mean, if you feel uncomfortable uh, uh, going into a Mexican town I and mean, you want to have a guide, then that will be the way to do it. But, I mean, everybody speaks English in Boquillas. And then again, you know, I speak Spanish. So I was, it was very comfortable for me. And uh, I'm actually glad that I didn't get on the, on the burro because I was able to, to roam into town and not having, you know, a, a guy shadowing you the whole time. So... Were you able to camp at Jesus Basin? Yes, we were. It was a very tight campsite. And Jesus Basin, I think it was originally meant for tents. But if you have a smaller V like ours, I mean, we were like tight. I mean, we were like two inches longer. We wouldn't have been able to, to do it. Any wildlife in Big Bend? We've, we, found, we found wild horses and uh, javelinas. But... Uh, but like large wildlife, we've, I mean, besides some deer and stuff, I didn't think, uh, uh, Ili, do you remember if we saw wildlife at Big Bend? Like lots of birds, javelinas. And we road saw... runners, and... Oh, road runners. They're all over the place. Yeah, road runners. I mean, I think that's the symbol of the park. You know, whenever there's like an, an exhibit on the side of the road, it's a picture of a road runner. So, yeah. <clears throat> Gigs on tour, we kayak the Santa Elena Canyon. Great memories. I would love to do that. Maybe next time, you know, this was our first time there, and I uh, and I, I I already want to go back. Um, and this is the thing. This is one of those national parks that is so remote, so out of the way, and totally underrated. You know, the way YouTube keeps telling me that uh, YouTube is not receiving enough data. And I know I have like like 10 megabits up, but it's jittery. You know, it goes up and down. So the RV dump station, thank you for that super chat. What a great name for a, for a YouTube channel. Uh, happy Friday from Alabama. Thank you. Uh, going on, Growing up in Ohio, slit was very small, round, opaque with... White eyes coming down. Yeah, we got some definitely some sleet on the way here, but um, yeah, it, I mean, and it wasn't freezing. It was like high thirties, low forties, but uh, <clears throat> so it was it, it melted right, right right on the ground. Any chupacabras? I didn't see any. Uh, Traveling Robert, do you have any trouble communicating in Spanish due to a different dialect? Not really. I speak, believe it or not, I speak Mexican pretty good too, and uh, and I have this problem. And people maybe think that I'm making fun of them, but when I speak to another Spanish speaker, let's say a Mexican or an Argentinian, or I kind of start speaking, you know, 
in their accent or try, kind of imitating their accent. So I'm like in Mexico and I'm like, pues sí, dos cervezas, por favor. And, you know, kind of like in the Mexican accent. That maybe they think I'm making fun. You know, it's just... And same, you know, I used to have an Argentinian uh, boss back uh, in my 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 other job. Uh, um, yeah, and I would start talking to him like, "Hey, boss, for a blue, okay, okay. It, that kind of thing." You know, it's uh, and uh, to I mean, to make a long story short, it, Mexican and Cuban, the dialect, there are certain words that are different, but it, it, I mean, it's it's like you speaking to someone from from South Africa, maybe, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, you understand 90%, you know, we like swimming pool. We say piscina, they say alberca, you know, certain words are different, but, uh, Kevin Bentley, we did balance rock trail last, uh, uh, Friday. I backed into a, into a cactus taking itself. Be careful. There's some very, very uh, prickly cacti, in all that area. Actually, you know what happened to us coming back down from the balanced rock? We lost the trail. So we were like scrambling on rocks. I felt I felt like I felt like Tristan from SUV RV, you know, going down a mountain, not on a trail. Javelina and Roadrunner says the Geek on Tours. Uh, Arizona doesn't observe daylight savings, so their time doesn't change. Arizona is it's strange in that sense, because a big chunk of Arizona is Navajo Nation. And Navajo Nation does observe a daylight saving time. So sometimes if you're like right there on the border, it's you don't know what time it is. And a lot of, a lot of places, they specify, you know, we're close to the office at 5 p.m. Arizona time or Utah time. Or if, you, if you're close to Utah or Navajo Nation, they do that a lot. Anthony Giordano, thank you for that super chat. Hello, Robert, Illy, Mom, and RV DJ. Cheers. Cheers to all of you. And who do we have here? Uh, Mr. Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto. Um, um, daylight savings times change tonight and you are in a state that doesn't observe it. Ha! Yeah. Uh, as I was saying, in Texas, we speak Tex-Mex. There you go. Um, and Tex-Mex food is really good, too. The, <laughs> the couple's name of the RV dump station channel? Gray and black. <laughs> Journey by J. Australian accents are hard. Yeah. And um, I've spoken to several Australians at, at the beginning. It's like really hard to understand. And then your ear is like like everything, right? You, your ear kind of get gets used to it. Even me, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm from Miami, having a Miami accent and uh, with my Cuban accent. And, you know, it's a, it's kind of a... You go to Perry, Florida, where Pelly Camp is, and like the na the natives, you know, the people who have lived there all the, the time, they have this southern drawl that at the beginning, it's kind of hard. You know, you are like, oh, what did they really say? But then your ear just gets used to it. Uh, and after a couple of hours, you just, all right, that the, he, man, he said, um, he said, uh, my, I, I have my beer on ass. No, it's not on ass. It's on ice. All right, all right he meant ice, that kind of thing, you know? So, um, yeah. Um, do you believe it is... Okay, I want to I wanna debunk this. But Bob Lynch, do you believe it is reasonable to be on guard when visiting inside Mexico? Depends. I think it, it all depends. Oh, talk about the, the guides. If we took a... Yeah, I already said oh, that. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... I think it's, it all depends. Like in Boquillas del Carmen, when I went and I have the t-shirt to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the burro that you would take and with a guide. That's safe. I mean, it, it, to get to that place from Mexico is like this dirt road. I mean, that place is isolated from the world. And I think we'll probably get most of our stuff from, from the, United, the United States. And same with, I mean, I've never been, but I've seen people go to Baja and Baja seems like super safe. Like the touristy places, and we went to Tijuana. Uh, Tijuana is fine. We crossed into Tijuana ten years ago. Actually, we did, and uh, it was a it. And if it looks sketchy, it probably is. It felt a little sketchy that like half mile between the border and Avenida Revolución in the middle. You know, like the touristy part of Tijuana, but the rest, you know, 
it's like everywhere else. It may be worse. This, but I think you know. In my experience, it's never as bad as the news will tell you. No place on earth, you know. It's it's never as bad as 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 what you hear on the news. I mean, if you if you listen to the news in the early nineties, Miami was like the worst place in the world. They were killing tourists left and right, and and it wasn't like that everywhere. So um, you know, it is. Uh, you just have to, yeah. You have to be careful. Be you know, don't don't do anything. You know, I don't know. Uh, John, hi Robert, long time watcher. Will you travel in Europe anytime? So if if all goes according to plan, and by the way, that's the view outside our window. Beautiful. I have a feeling we're gonna get a beautiful Arizona sunset tonight. I think that the the weather conditions are like that. You know, we have low clouds, high clouds. You know, it's um, I have I'll have my camera ready. What, what was the question? Ah, Europe. Um, if all goes well. After we get back to from the eclipse, sometime in May, we're gonna be in Spain. But uh, I haven't really made any reservations yet. Terry Ria, thank you for that super chat. Thank you so much. Chef at large retired. What well, I mean you don't cook? You're not cooking anymore. <laughs> uh, well, congratulations. Lyle, I'm Amiot. My husband and I are hooting beer on ass. We get <laughs> tickled when you say oven for oven. Well, I, I've been trying to say oven more often lately. <laughs> but you know how it is. Once your mouth gets used to pronouncing things a certain way, it's it's really hard to 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 lose an accent or, or acquire an accent. I think after 15 or 16 that's like the sweet age where after that your your accent is set uh brandy williams thank you for that super chat happy friday to you Ilya mom thank you so much happy friday to you yeah journeys by jay that's true we went to a really sketchy part of la to see the hotel cecile but it was fine yeah you know it's you, in, in everywhere, I think you have to use your common sense and and see if someone's follow. Especially if it looks sketchy or is your first time in a place, you know, look around, you know, and don't don't be showing off expensive things. You know, sometimes I just put away my camera and just take out the phone and film with the phone. You know, so I don't um doo -doo 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 -doo. when are you when in arizona are you phoenix no we're in holbrook which is right on road 66 and the, the, the idea for our time here <clears throat> particularly tomorrow we want to look for some land maybe a possible pelicamp west in this area just south of here a, a snowflake sholo pine top a, uh, pine top probably not. I wouldn't want uh, tall trees. We want to have some somewhere. We, I I really like the area with you know with that the has the the like the maybe six foot tall um, uh, juniper, something with a little bit of um, uh, with a little bit of um, privacy due to those junipers and. Uh, uh, Bob Leach, don't ever lose your accent. Once that happens, you're a regular Robert. Yeah, no, no, I, 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 even if I tried. Uh, Darlene Barcelo, thank you for that super chat. Fiona's seventh birthday is this week. Well, happy birthday, dear Fiona. Happy birthday to you. All right. Hotels and Cecil, don't drink the water. You know, that's something that to someone told me about not, not doing that. Boquillas del Carmen, and I have the T-shirt to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Too late for that. That's margaritas has some eyes on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had like one margarita, two margaritas, maybe three regulars. and all those margaritas have had ice. And I just realized ice is frozen water, so we drew, we did drink the water, and and we're still alive. Uh, and answer it. Um, is sending me already properties. Thank you, Andrew, if you're still watching. Uh, 
Journeys by Jay, living in Texas ruined me. I only lived there for three years and I still always say y'all. Well, I, I still don't say y'all. What is that YouTube channel where we've been watching that? She always says y'all like all Endless the time. Adventure. Endless adventure. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's one of, of our newer discoveries in YouTube, believe it or not. Talking about burros, have you been to Oatman, Arizona? And we may be again in Oatman, Arizona because we're going to the Kingman area because we might also be looking for property in that area. And I, actually, I kind of like this area. We're really close to I-40. Um, and the the Williams uh, Grand Canyon Junction area has another plus. It's close to the Grand Canyon, kind of close to Sedona. Very cool. And then Kingman is kind of a, even better in the sense you're not close, close to anything, but you are kind of close to Las Vegas, kind of your stone throw away from California. If you want to go to California, you're just an hour, a couple hours from Quartzsite. So uh, there may be, if, if I can find something at a very, very, very good deal, there may be more than one Pelican Quest. Let's see. Let's see what kind of a deal I can find. Uh, and the Red Jaguar traveling rover. I was in Miami in the mid-90s for training. And I thought the amount of crimes were mild compared to Philly. There you go, Mirma. It's Everything is relative. And I don't know Philly. But Miami ha had a bad rap in the 90s. But I think it's just... I mean, our downtown in the 90s was kind of rough. Now Nowadays, downtown is like... It's... Uh, it's different. There's a lot of residential buildings. And back in the day, downtown, um, at night, you, that, that was not the place you wanted to be at. But, um, <clears throat> uh, boom, docking with Boomer. Hey, Lance. Uh, traveling right, but are you in Texas? I'm in Galveston. I was in Texas. I was just a couple of days ago. We, 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 we spent... Actually, the most I think we've ever spent at one single national park, just because it is so remote that we wanted to take advantage of it. So we were at Big Bend National Park. But right now we are in Arizona, very far away from there. We're in the high desert here in Holbrook. Are you going to petrify the national park while you're in Holbrook? Yes. I don't know. Um, probably Sunday. Um, first one, Ely is there. Hello. Yeah, Ely is here. Yeah, she's on the other side of the camera. And that's the view outside. By the way. I'm working. Ely, oh, Ely is working? Yeah. Survey coming up. So. She, she, Ely is working. So, someone's got to do it. <laughs> Wait, someone's gotta, Darlene, <laughs> Fiona says thanks. You're very welcome, Fiona. Um, <clears throat> Uh, it's uh, Janice Stewart. Are you, as you are both bilingual, do you and Ili generally converse with each other in Spanish or English? Spanglish. Yeah, I'd say Spanglish, Spanglish for the most part. Probably skewing more Spanish than English, mm. to be honest. But uh, yeah, it's Sp Spanglish. It's uh, it's it's back. You know, you, you know, the Spanglish is a funny dialect because we choose. You know, every language is different. And sometimes there's a word in English that doesn't exist in Spanish that just, you know, describes something so much better. And words in English tend to be shorter. In Spanish, we have a lot of words with three, four, five syllables. And English is mostly monosyllable. And uh, so those things we do in English, like numbers I do in English. But then, like, if it's raining really hard, I'm like, que aguacero. You know, it's not like I'm not gonna say raining cats and dogs. Aguacero is yeah. it's 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 more concise than raining cats and dogs or downpour, downpour, aguacero. We just say aguacero, and that kind of thing. You know, <laughs> uh, Lily String. I hope you like your freeze dried candy because I'm going to send you some freeze dried meals soon: biscuits and gravy, soft pepper, etc. Et I really love the, the the all that stuff, especially the 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 stuffed peppers. Oh, stop! No, we didn't get stuffed no, peppers. We we, we got the, the, the omelet, yeah, we did it. We did an omelet. It came it came out great. When, when we when you see the, the the video, you're gonna love it. Um, just wait until we get back. If you if, because right now there's a, uh, I mean Brian could technically go to the PO box and, and pick it up, or get it at home. But uh, yeah. 
We're not going to be back home for a little over a month. Y'all are living in Florida. <laughs> Girl 69, and I'm glad you're asking this. Traveling Robert, uh, hey, Mr. Robert, would you do another video showing all your cameras and drones again? I'm sure things have changed. Actually, and you, and you got, if you're watching, I don't have my bag here. I'm thinking of getting a new drone. Actually, mostly for the for if I do the European trip, I don't want to take my huge. I mean, my my drone is huge by today's standards. Um, I'm thinking of getting a Mavic 3 Mini, and then I gotta I got one new camera. I got a new computer, and so several things, but I got one new camera that might replace a. Uh, my GoPro, my main GoPro. Christopher also on RV America, y'all is a cool channel. They have a huge RV. Yes, they have a they said a numer, they have a numer. Actually, they are, I think they are now numer ambassadors and great folks, great people. Where we are um I, I want to say good friends because we don't hang out as much, but the, the, the few times that we have met each other, they, they're such such a great couple in person and online. Big E Astro, thank you for that super chat. Greetings from Marco Island. Marco Island, Florida, been watching you for years. So here's my first super chat. Are dark skies a priority in your Western land search? I'm an astrophotographer. I'm talking about dark skies. We just came back from, uh, <clears throat> it's called Davis Mountain State Park, right next to the McDonald Observatory. And that's where I wanted to do like, because right now, we are like almost new moon, as you can see there. Almost new moon. So it's a perfect time to do astrophotography and uh, it was cloudy. So, but uh, yeah, I would like to, I would love to, to have dark skies. That's where what, uh, that's what, actually, that's what I was hoping for in Pelicamp in, in, in our Florida retreat, which for the most part is dark skies, but my neighbor across the street, he has like, floodlights all over the place. I don't think it's affecting it much, but uh, yeah. Uh, Golden University, what do you think about Mini 4 Pro? I haven't done enough research on this, so I don't have a, a, an educated opinion yet, but yes, I'm, I'm, I'm searching for, for a smaller drone, um, in particular for the European trip. I have to I have to really figure out what what the drone rules are in Spain. I think they're pretty re relaxed compared to the United States and other countries. Strong rains and winds, we call it Terbonada. I think it came from Spanish origin. Yeah, we call it Turbonada with a T-U, Turbonada. And that would be a more like a, like thundering a, you know, hard rain. So, yeah. Ili is working and trying to listen at the same time, multitasking. Oh, Ili is multitasking. Yes. I'm going to tell her boss. Hey, the ad the, the, the Adventure hey. Channel. Thank you for that super chat. Hey, Robert, are you planning to go to Moab, Utah? Yes, I said we're going to Moab, Utah. Nice to see you are visiting us here in Arizona. Arizona, as you know, is one of my favorite states. And, uh, and this is something that I wanted to do last winter when I broke my leg, so I'm going to do it now. And maybe I won't find the, the perfect land, but I'll get closer and closer. You know, it took me three trips to uh, to Taylor County, Florida, to uh, find Pelicamp. This is a little farther away, so I'm, gonna, I'm really going to try to find it on this trip, and I've allocated several days to be in this area. Exploring coast to coast, Robert. Do you have any tips for us to create images on Eclipse Day? And I just realized the one camera that would have made a, a great uh, time lapse of the eclipse I left in Miami because I didn't think I was gonna need it. My old Nikon from like 13 years ago. But uh, I'm just gonna look for a for a dark lens and put my, I mean, you need something that has a manual mode so you can make it dark enough so that the camera doesn't get, 
um, fooled by the brightness. You know, you you wanna you, you wanna dial down the the iris so you can actually see the ring of fire around the the sun. And I would do like a time lapse because on a on a total solar eclipse, I mean, you're never gonna be able to ca capture the dynamic range that you get from from the sun actually being obscured by the moon. But the freakiest thing is that that it gets dark. You you you, you get like four minutes of nighttime in the middle of the day. And if you can make a time lapse of that, of the of the shadow of the moon, you know, getting close, I'm going to see if I can fly the drone as, as high as possible and see the shadow of the moon coming over, and we'll see. Christopher Olson, to fly a drone 250 grams above... You need a license in Spain. EU are trying to create rules that are in the same all over the EU. That's why I'm thinking of this DJI Mavic Mini. It's just under 250 grams. So I might be able to fly it. And I have a, I do have a license in the United States. So I wonder if, if I have my US license, if at some point that's, that might be valid, you know, across the world. So we'll see. Uh, the defenders, Sisu, are we still on for still on 2026 for Argentina? If so, I have a drone you can use for Spain. Cool. And uh, well, I, 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 everything for the following years, of course, is written in jello, but I would definitely love to, to do the Pan American Highway to Argentina. Uh, Journey by Jay in Moab, visit the Moab Diner, great road food, order the sweet water potatoes, fried potatoes covered in green chili, cheese, peppers, and onions. It's heavenly. Hmm. Young Dave, Petrified Forest, if you only have time for one trail, either Crystal Forest or Blue Mesa. We'll write those down. Big E Astros, thank you for that super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you. And let me show you real quick here, our view outside. Yeah, it's very similar to the view outside a, a couple of minutes ago. Just the shadows are getting a little longer. And uh, what time is it? 5.15. Time flies when you're having fun. It's 5.15 here, 7.15 Eastern. Mark Zhammer, during the totality, all the night creatures get active and the temperature goes down. Yes. And uh, that's something I noticed uh, during the eclipse uh, back in 2017, which was uh, a unique experience. I mean, a unique, unique experience. Julie asks, are you still thinking of traveling to Spain? Yeah, I'm thinking, uh, we're thinking May, in May, uh, going to Spain and, and spending a couple of weeks in a camper van. Christopher Olson, the Mini is 249 grams. Then you only need to follow some standard rules like not fly close to airports, not high up to 120 meters, and so on. Yeah, I think 120 meters must be the same as our 400 feet uh, limit. So, I mean, th those rules, I, I believe, are uh, more like international. And, uh, like, I guess in a big city, you know, don't fly above crowds or uh, you don't want to fly, like, over a football game or something like that. So I think I think for for this trip I might get me a a mini. And nowadays the quality is probably even better than mine. So Jefford Lars, are you going to Winnebago Rally in July? That's the plan. Yes, most likely I'm going to go there to the rally in July. I might even do like a seminar or a meetup or a meet and greet or something like that. Yes. Domo arigato, Mister. I forgot about my beer here. Hold on. Are you going to Moab? If you're going to Moab, try dry camping at Cairns Lake Campground. We enjoyed it more than the FHU campgrounds in town. I'm going to check it out. Actually, my time in Moab, I'm actually doing a collaboration with Sun Outdoors. Actually, I'm doing something different, but uh, more about that later. And... Uh,
It's three-day RV. If you previously registered or have a remote pilot certificate in your home country or another EASA member state, then your registration and RPC are valid in Spain. There you go. Uh, you are finding Moab unless you drive a Jeep. Well, we might rent one, actually. Let me see. First one, has your mama, she's she's doing all right. You know, she has her up and, ups and downs like any anyone at 89 years of age. But um, I think she's getting better and she might be joining us at some point uh, in Spain, in Europe. Girls is on the road. Robert, your part 107 license is good over there too in Spain. There you go. Big Astro, if you've ever been to a total eclipse, I recommend not trying to take images. Just soak it in. Soak it in. Overwhelming to some. Yes. It it was quite a moment when I did it, did it in 2017. And at some point, I mean, we had f four and a half, five minutes. And at some point, I did put down the camera and just enjoy the moment. Yes. You have to. I mean, because the camera will never capture you know the, the your your eyes are so much more HDR than any any sensor in any camera uh, nowadays. Ooh. I don't know why. It must be the, the the dry desert air. Robert, where did you watch the 2017 eclipse? We watched it in Wyoming. It was wild. I I wish I would have gone to Wyoming, but uh, we we watched it in in Western Kentucky. And we had we had a um, great weather. It was really good. I mean, I I, job, I loved it. I, I loved the experience. Pete Diaz, just curious, did your Colorado have a tow package? Yes, it did. Yeah, they had the tow package with the trailer brake and all that. April Jordan, Robert, Larry, and I love watching your videos. Thank you. Uh, Ava. Jamison, hey, when are you going back to Key West? I live in Northern Ireland and I was in Key West because I love your YouTube video of Key West. We're going to be there uh, soon enough. I, I was hoping to go to Key West before the end of winter. Uh, but, uh, yes, several things. And uh, we're going to go back. We're going to go back. Maybe this summer for Lobster Fest. Who knows? Big E Astro, I'm traveling in my micro mini for the maiden voyage for the eclipse. Where are you planning to go? Just curious. Uh, we're gonna be at Lake Travis uh, near Austin, Texas. It's not. It's gonna. It's not in the center of the path of totality, but we could never find anything better. And we're still gonna get like four minutes. Actually, I may still have that tab open because it's a, a, a solar eclipse calculator it's somewhere here. <clears throat> yeah, I plugged in the the coordinates. And we're getting three minutes and 22 seconds of totality. I mean, not perfect, not the best, but I'll take it. I'll just make the best of it. <clears throat> Journeys by Jay. Robert, I'm coming up on my two years of uh, my part 107. Can you give me a summary of what's involved in the renew renewing? It's just like a like a shorter version of the original test and you do it online i mean it's uh it's fairly simple i mean if you remember so certain things that right we forgot uh, certain things but um, you took a refresh you take a refresher course and uh and you do it you know arizona red tv thank you for that super chat <clears throat> oh so happy you're here in arizona any plans for a meetup also, you're planning on visiting the White Mountains on this trip. Well, yeah, that's the, the idea. We're going to be tomorrow in the Sholo Snowflake uh, Snowflake area. And we'll see what uh, if we can find uh, you know, a piece of land for our Pelicamp West. Sherry Brennan, by all, our dinner is ready. Have a great weekend. I'm getting hungry, let me tell you. I have some 
we're probably gonna have some fish to have some fish there in the in the in the in the it's probably thawed by now hey william irizarry is here are you coming to california robert we might go into california briefly after nevada uh, probably for the for the um, I want to do the the Mojave Mojave Road or Mojave Trail. You know, it's it's an off an off road. Uh, I think it's the Mojave Road. We might do something like that. Geeks on tour. The eclipse is not just about the visual experience. I've been to four total eclipses and I cried each time. It's a very emotional experience. And yes, it is. Yes, it is. And it's something that that your mind, your brain doesn't expect. It's just the whole experience, the the cooling down of the weather and the, the swirls you see on the ground and um, yeah. It's incredible. I recommend if anybody want, and this is the last one we're gonna probably gonna see in our lifetime. Well, there's one like in 2040 something. I'm gonna be in my 70s in the United States. So if you wanna see another one in our in, in within the next two decades, you have to see this one that we're gonna have. Otherwise, you have to travel overseas. Bob Poole, we're going to be in Waco, Texas for the eclipse. We had reservations for for a year, over four minutes of totality. Yeah, that, that would have been the way to do it. I was kind of winging it until last minute, but yeah. Robert, have you checked out the Williams area? We're going there in a couple of days, and I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. The, 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 thing, the good thing about that is you're very close to, to the Grand Canyon. Robert, are you coming to Australia? Not this year, probably not next year, but maybe the year after. Yes, Australia is definitely on the on the short list of, of places that I want to visit. And if I go to Australia, it's gonna be like a like a month, and I'm gonna rent a, a caravan or a, you guys call it caravans or you don't call them RVs, auto caravans or camper, you know, like like a small like a like a camper van. And if it probably four by four, and uh, and just go all around the continent, you know. I will fertilize her by the next eclipse. <laughs> uh, I I I I I'm I might be or I might be like 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 an like an old geezer. A traveling Robert, the solar eclipse is April 8th. Love Sandra Sandra Winters from Je uh, and Jeffrey Rees. Yes, exactly. In one month. <clears throat> Pete Diaz, I'm a fifth generation Key Wester. You want to know anything about here? Just ask. I would love to help you out. Yeah, well, we'll we'll might I mean summer is it's a good time to be on the water, but not a good time to be like it's hot. We all know it's hot, right? Jeffrey McCommon, I knew you were having seafood tonight. Yes, I have some fish. I forget. I think it's rockfish or something like that. Mr. Robato, Domo Arigato, are you going to be standing in the corner in Winslow, Arizona for the next live? Probably not for the next live, but there's a good chance that this Monday coming up, I'll be standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona. Yep. Setting up camp. Hey, Mark is setting up camping Snowflake with his six of Tecate. All right. Well, I, I still have like three of El Chingon, so we might toast tomorrow. <sighs> we have been watching some land in the Sholo area, in Sholo, Arizona as well. We could share some findings. Hey, let me know. Let me know what you think. I actually texted uh, Eric Nomadic, but uh, he's not going to be in the area. So, uh, Robert, have you ever considered greatest hits, so to speak, all your trips, favorite moments, favorite places, favorite memories? Yeah, we could do, I, I could do like, well, this year is going to be our 10th RV anniversary. So, I might do one of those for the 10th RV anniversary. Yeah. I think Trevor and Robert mentioned they will visit Area 51 before Eclipse Day. Don't miss the adventure. Well, Area 51, they may not allow me to go all the way in, but, but we're going to get as close as possible. So 
Slow transit times. I have no reservations for the eclipse, but you were making me just want to drive down from Chicago and park anywhere in the path. Uh, I would. A lot of places are probably going to be blocked off and reserved because there's going to be a lot of people trying to do the same thing. But yeah, I would. I would do it. Tony5006, thank you for that super chat. Thank you so much. And Cameron S, thank you for that super chat. Ooh, sorry, that beer. Good beer. Uh, hi, Robert from Australia. Thanks for all the great videos you make. I'm traveling to Hawaii in May. Thanks again. Enjoy Hawaii, the one state that I haven't set foot on, but maybe one day. Pete Diaz, thank you for that super chat. I just love everything about your channel. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like it. And at 5.29, we are reaching the end of today's broadcast. I mean, we started late. We're finishing late. Uh, Golden Valley, Arizona has lots of open space for Pelicamp. Yeah, Golden Valley. Three areas, for those of you joining us late, three areas that I'm considering. Uh, the, the, the Sholo Snoke Flake area, kind of, or Concho, you know, that triangle, just north of Williams, Arizona, and then um, Kingman and, you know, Golden Valley, just west of Kingman, that, that whole area also. And uh, I'm sure we'll find something. You know, it's just Desiree Van Walsam, RV Cruising. Be sure to watch the movie Paul and stop at the Little Ale Inn on the Extraterrestrial Highway. Let's see if we can watch that movie tonight, you know. You'll be in your 70s and we'll be in our 80s for the next total eclipse. There's a reason to stay healthy. Yeah, as healthy as possible. Um, I'm, I don't think I'm giving up beer anytime soon, but, uh, but I'm trying to work out and stay active, you know, and that's I think that goes a long way. Find us here. I'm lucky to live right in the center line of the eclipse. There's a reason to stay. Uh, um, uh, Gatesville, Texas. Yeah. Hey, Christopher Olson. Good night, everyone. See you next week. See you next week, Christopher. And if, if Christopher goes, I think we're going to start wrapping this one up. Thank you all for... I wish I had my guitar so I could sing you the Guantanamera or something um, allegoric to... Anyway, I'm riding, riding in my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV, and now I'm going to have dinner in my RV. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you so much uh, for watching, and see you next Friday, same time. Hopefully, same time, you know. Time might be relative since we are in a different time zone. Next Friday, is all, if all goes well, we're going to be in Las Vegas, Nevada. And Illy, Illy's face just <laughs> lit up. <laughs> I wish you were here to see it. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Uh, that's the view from outside our window. The shadows are a little longer. I'll, 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 I promise I'll, I'll make a... A, a sunset picture for you guys. Bye, everybody.